Because if you can just answer that question, no leader would worry to you when it comes to your deal because they will expect you will show up at the church. Because the, the moment you understand being a witness, praise God, hallelujah, you will show up here. Whether somebody will call you or follow up you, no, I am a witness. There is a case today, I need to attend in the court. I should show up in the court. I am a witness. Or else, the court will send you a subpoena. Praise God. Or the court will condemn you because you don't show up as a witness. Hello? How important to you is being a witness? Is that really important to you? Because the moment you understand this, hallelujah, you have an answer right now in your heart and in your mind that you are really a living witness of Christ. You will study everything that is available. You will buy everything, praise God, for your knowledge in order to enhance, hallelujah, everything that you have. You will, hallelujah, willing to submit yourself under tutorial, under, under a guide, under a teacher, because you want to be an effective and powerful witness. Of Jesus. How long? Dato na bang katagal? Hallelujah. Now you have not tell somebody about Jesus. Um, I think last contact. What? <laughs> and the last question is this. We will each give an account of our witnessing. Yes. According to Romans chapter 14 verse 12. This is the last verse I promised to you. So then every one of us shall give an account of himself. I will give an account as a witness, as a preacher, as a Filipino missionary. Hallelujah. As a Christian, as a born again believer, I will give an account of God when I stand before Him. And you will also give, hallelujah, your own account, hallelujah, before God. So, is being a witness so important to you? Because the promise said, when you receive the Holy Ghost, after that you will receive the Holy Ghost, you will receive power. Yeah. And you will become a witness. So we stand together. You are not a stone. You are not a pillar. You have breath. You are a living witness. The value of you being a witness is based not on your clothes, but it is based on the power of the Spirit that resides inside you. Don't doubt, hallelujah. Don't doubt your value. Don't doubt your calling. You are a living witness. So what we live inside, what we claim inside the church, show to the world. So that they will know that you are really a witness of Christ. Can we close our eyes and raise our hand? So many people are full of knowledge about theology. But they don't have a personal relationship with Jesus. So many people, hallelujah, knows how to debate. They know the rules of argumentations. But sad to say, they have no relationship to Jesus. They did not repent of their sins. I don't know about you guests and visitors, but I one thing I know. Jesus loves you so much. And here's a preacher that tells you about Jesus. If you just receive Jesus today, be baptized, repent of your sins, and you will become a new creature. You are baptized in the water, brother, in the name of Jesus. You have that power in the name of the Lord. All you need to ask today is to Jesus. Jesus, I want your spirit that I will be able to stand. I want your spirit. I want to be a credible witness. I want to share my story. I want to share my testimony. Come on, you like fellowship. You want to have a Hallelujah. You are a credible witness. 
Jesus name, go ahead. 